Have you ever wondered what vet nurses do? Have you ever actually noticed? You see, the skill of vet nurses is that they do their things so well, so efficiently, that most of us aren't even aware of what they actually do. But without them, vets and veterinary specialists wouldn't be able to do what they do. Mm. We're going to take you behind the scenes so that you can see some of these often invisible people and actually see what they do and why they do it. There's a dog under there, somebody's much-loved furry family member. A vet now! One of the vet nurses assessing the emergency makes the call. You can hear the urgency in her voice. Her vet now sounds more like a demand than a request. But unlike many workplaces, nobody's offended. Mutual respect for each other's skills means vets and vet nurses just get on with the job. My name is Jess, I'm 23. Um, I started nursing when I was uh, finished school and decided that I wanted to be a vet nurse and help animals. So a little practice came up um, near my house and I got a little animal attending position there and I was helping out. And before you knew it, I was at the RSPCA for three years and I decided, hey, I want to get into emergency. And um, yeah, I was working nights and progressed and now in medicine. So I'm working with Dr. Sarah Hellman, who is a fabulous medicine specialist and she's a dream to work with. But yeah, I'm working with her now. Keeps you busy. Well, you make it sound like it's a really easy thing to do and it's not. I it's mean... not. <laughs> it's really not. Um, it has its days, definitely has its days. Um, Sometimes they're great, sometimes they're not, sometimes they're okay, but you just got to kind of focus on the patient and try and really get through um, get through it and focus on them rather than you know, your own issues going on in your head. And on days when there's no time to stop for anything, let alone a lunch break, there's one thing guaranteed to make a difference. Wait for me, 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 wait for me. Um, it helps when we have food come in, um, food and pizza and soft drink. Um, but yeah, we have an amazing support team here, so we all kind of just stick together and, and get through it together. Thank you. It's the best part. You get food, you get fed. <laughs> Was there one particular thing that prompted you um, to actually get into this whole field of, of caring for animals? Um, yes, my mum has always been, you know, follow your dreams, um, so it was really her that really helped me make up that decision. Um, I was, I thought I wasn't going to be smart enough, um, but you know, mum's like, no, you're great, you're special, keep doing it, keep doing what you're doing, so I'll have to really thank her for that one. Um, but yeah, so I'd probably say that's when I kind of get, got the ball rolling, believed myself a bit more. Go. Really? Not smart enough. Wait for part two of Inside ARH, showing how passion gets results. This looks like a telescope, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs>